Hi guys, day three here. I skipped yesterday. Um, still struggling with feelings of depression, isolation, and anxiety. As you can see on my thumbnail today, I pulled out my workbook that I bought back in 2013 when I was really struggling with um, anxiety and panic attacks. It's called the Anxiety and Phobia Workbook by Edmund Bourne and it's pretty thick as you can see and it is a super helpful resource for any of you who are proactive and want to read or do work to help understand why you feel the way you do and ways to feel better. Um, I'll just read the contents for you. Um, so there's 20 um, chapters and each one has like workbook pages and um, suggested read reading of like other books you could read on the topic of that specific chapter and exercises that you can do. So there's like a chapter on anxiety disorders, another one is on major causes of anxiety disorders, um, recovery, relaxation, a whole chapter on physical exercise, coping with panic attacks, help for phobias, self-talk, self mistaken beliefs, personality styles that perpetuate anxiety, um, I can only flip this page. 10 common phobias, dealing with feelings, being assertive, self-esteem, nutrition, health conditions that may contribute to anxiety, medication for anxiety, meditation, taking a, a step back from anxiety, which I just read uh, tonight and it was actually super helpful, and personal meaning. So... Um, I'll put a link to this workbook below and then other than that I just wanted to touch base on that shopping trip that I talked about in my last video it was so I had gone to the LCBO and then I went into the grocery store and then I mailed some packages and I went to Dollarama and I was standing in line and well there was no line first of all the stores were like completely deserted um I mean there was a couple people in the grocery store and like maybe two or three people in the dollar store I wasn't expecting that and it was funny because the shelves in the dollarama were like totally stocked up like I mean they were out of the stuff like hand sanitizer and things like that that you would expect them to be out of but everything else was like more stocked than I've ever seen it before and um so there was nobody in line and then there was these two teenagers behind me and they were not like social distancing at all and I wanted to tell them to like back up but I didn't know how to say it and then I'm standing there and I'm trying to like move forward and then they would keep taking steps forward and then the guy starts like coughing and I'm like freaking out inside my head and then when I got home later I'm trying to think about like okay if this ever happens again what am I gonna say and I'm just gonna say please move back and not have to be like mean about it or swear at them or whatever and part of me thought maybe they don't know like what's going on and they don't know that they're supposed to be six feet away from me right now but then I thought okay this is like during the day when they would normally be in school and they're not in school and they obviously know about coronavirus if their school is cancelled because of it actually that's not true because it's March break week so maybe they were just ignorant teenagers I don't know but um so that was anxiety provoking in me when he was like coughing but anyways so I left there I came home I did go for a walk with 
mojo just like around the neighborhood and another thing that really surprised me was how like deserted the streets were so we went at like 5 30 ish I think when people would normally be getting off of work and there was like no cars and we went again today and it was the same thing and I saw more people out walking than normal but hardly any cars driving around and then yesterday I saw like a police car driving around the neighborhood like almost seemed like aimlessly like they had nothing else to do I don't know it was just like almost ominous feeling um so other than like reporting what it's been like outside and at the shops um I know I talked um, in my last video about how do you deal with being at home, especially when it's just you and a kid and what do you do to pass the time. Um, I found FaceTime is one thing that is nice to be able to do with people, um, but I am trying to learn to just sit with my feelings which is actually what that chapter was about in the book it's called like acceptance and it's called like act therapy or act like a technique and it stands for um acceptance and accepting choosing and taking action Understanding Acceptance and Commitment Therapy. That's what it's called. Acceptance and Commitment Therapy. So it's just like recognizing what your thoughts are that are causing you anxiety, panic, or depression. And just like um, sitting with them, they call it. But it's almost like um, a form of mindfulness and just acknowledging them. And then instead of... Um, spending so much like energy worrying about them or trying to combat them and make them go away to just like accept it and use kind of like logic and different techniques to sort of let them go and distance yourself from them so that is something I'm gonna start trying to read more about and work on because it seemed to hit a chord with me and maybe that's something that might help you too if you've tried other techniques that aren't working um other than that that's all i'm gonna say for today and i'm gonna try to make a video every day um just because it's something to keep me busy and uh to keep communication open with people so um i'll talk to you tomorrow